Well, I put up a video where I didn't mention Bob Wells, it wasn't about Bob Wells, and everybody started commenting on Bob Wells. There we had that dissonance and cognition again. So I thought I'd put up a video on recommendation, actually, about why I would say anything about Bob Wells at all. My wife and I, a number of years ago, or two or three, began thinking about doing this nomad or travel lifestyle. At that point, I watched as many YouTube videos as I could find having to do with this lifestyle. And one of the search results that you get is Bob Wells and cheap RV living. So when we went out a little over a year ago, I had watched as many Bob Wells videos as I could see. I watched them two and three times about internet connection, how you go about establishing various addresses, what power you need, what power you don't need, what he recommends as vehicles, all kinds of things. I went to his website. And my experience with that, once I got out, brought me to where I am today. The experience itself in doing things the way I was instructed or that was instructed in the cheap RV living videos cost me upwards of a thousand dollars. The very first thing that happened prior to even going out was on, on a recommendation I purchased a particular type of space heater on a recommendation of Mr. Wells. Within two weeks of our hitting the road, Mr. Wells made another video saying that the video, the space heater he had previously advised people to get as a necessity was no longer the one he advised, and he recommended one that was a few hundred dollars more expensive and that you attach to your vehicle and that was hardwired in and coincidentally was sold by a individual in Quartzsite who had a shop set up in a parking lot. I further followed Bob's advice on things like South Dakota, what to look for in purchasing a vehicle, I made use of his website, his videos. I even joined, asked questions on his website. And the most intelligent response I got to any of my questions was one person responded they didn't know. Everybody else had an opinion and a way of doing everything. In one video, I think of comes to mind, there was information on how to get a good internet connection. It involved having numerous SIM cards, all of which were apparently free, um, numerous accounts, keeping track of what data you used on each SIM card, changing the SIM cards. It was a two-part video, if I recall, at the end of which the information was Oh, and for my business, I use this one over here, which apparently cost $300. So, I had tried the cell booster. I actually went and bought one early on. Uh, at least they took that back. What I can't get back are the miles I drove, some of the devices that we purchased, and some of the advice we followed. In short, for me anyway, after watching videos for probably six months, sometimes I even watched them two or three times, a lot of times I re-watched them to make sure that I was doing what was advised. 
in all of that, nothing, nothing that was advised in any of those videos was 100% accurate. And all of it was not cheap. In fact, most of it was very expensive. I also have found out that most people don't do it the ways advised in those videos. The people out here, the people who are doing it, have lots better ways to do various things. There are a number of different alternatives and none of them are in any of Cheap RV Living's videos. So it's not that I don't like Bob Wells. I don't really care. It's just that the information that's there is not only inaccurate, in some cases I think it may be dangerous. Um, so, and the contradictions are amazing. When we went out in November of 2018, our intent was to go to the 2018 RTR to watch the presentations and the demonstrations and see what was going on. We had some car trouble and some other things didn't work out, but we still intended to try to get there until Christmas time, I guess, we decided we'd wait till the following year. In 2018, what Bob had done is he said videoing at the 2018 RTR was not possible. He was going to make a rule against it. The reason stated was that he was going to record the presentations and that since it was his permit, his favorite phrase, or one of them, he would put the videos up, he would record them, and he would put them up monetized so that he could make income off of them, which I had no problem with. And so I waited for Bob Wells to put up those videos between 2018 and 2019. I never saw them. They never went up. What did go up was, of course, in 2018, his shutting down a karaoke presentation. Uh, and what was called at the time, you know, another example of Bob losing it. And at that point is when seeing those videos and then when I saw no, uh, none of the uh, videos that supposedly were made to put up for monetization for Cheap RV Living and Bob, they didn't go up. And then he started coming out with rules for the 2019 RTR. And then he had the women's RTR again. Um, that's when I just said, this is ridiculous. He's all over the place. He's cost me money. Driving all the way from the south down in Louisiana up to South Dakota and back down here to Arizona simply because Bob said that's how you do it. That's the best way to do it. Pick a place and set yourself up with a mail forwarding service and you can go with all, they go anywhere from $300 a year all the way up to almost $1,000 a year. But you don't need to do all of that. Um, if you have a passport, you can travel on a plane, you can travel internationally, you can do all that sort of thing. Um, I'm not sure what all the rules and regulations are at this point, but I'm fairly certain that what's in the videos that were put out that I saw are pretty inaccurate. So my experience and the amount of money that I wasted following Bob Wells' advice, is why I made the video. People need to ask questions about what's being said to them and what they're being told to do and make up their own mind, 
not take it on the word of someone they saw on YouTube who says, first of all, do A, then don't do A. First of all, buy A. Oh, don't buy A. It's, it, it doesn't work. I got a better one here. You could waste a lot of money like I did. And that's why I put out videos. Some. So far, I think two or three. Maybe four now. That are critical of cheap RV living, which isn't cheap. And Bob Wells. I hope that helps. And if I put up another video that doesn't mention him, it's because he wasn't on my mind at all. Semper Fi.